Thursday, March 19, 2015, this six year old Major Schnauzer had an operation to remove the infected worm yesterday. She had pyometra and uh, she was operated by Dr. Daniel yesterday afternoon. Now is uh, morning the next day, about 12. Now, this dog had virginity discharge seen by the owner on three days ago and uh, the diagnosis was pyometra. Now the blood test shows shows that uh, uh, the white cell count was 37. The normally should be 6 to 17 and uh, you can see that even the neutrophils have gone up. Neutrophils are normally 60 to 70 percent but it was 85 percent and absolute was 32 instead of 3 to 11. So this dog had a bacteria infection of the blood, bacteremia, but fortunately doesn't have low platelets so so she didn't she was not toxic. But uh, you can see she was bleeding as the red blood cells, hemoglobin and red cell count were low, lower than normal. So there was anemia from uterine bleeding. Now the kidneys are not affected as the creatinine is within the normal range and the serum urea is also within the normal range. So the kidneys are okay. The history was appetite loss in or decrease in two weeks and vaginal discharge one day before admission. No x-rays were taken. Now based on the history, Pyometra was diagnosed by Dr. Daniel. The dog was hospitalized for two days and given IV drip and antibiotics. So do not rush into operation immediately as uh, the dog may not be able to survive. Now, there's another video. The video shows that the uterus is full of pus, brownish red pus, and uh, they have not ruptured. The uterus has not ruptured because the owner detected it early, in the sense he came early, unlike the Chihuahua, which, which had a perforated uterus. The Chihuahua was five years old and uh, did not survive the surgery post-op. So, the best, the best advice I would give to owners of female dog is to get her neutered rather than to take the risk of her developing pyometra. And uh, as you can see, even after surgery, she doesn't really look that great. But uh, of course, she has not eaten yet and she didn't drink much but overall you can see that she's not uh, like a normal dog after spay where you, whereby the dog would be very active and standing around so my advice is spay your dog your female dog when she's young or check her for any pus or leaking of the vulva as I have another case today where the female dog just licked her vulva until, until it was swollen. These are all signs of uterine infection and uh, spaying at the young age of six months to one year would have prevented such emotional worries and also a risk of death from anesthesia or surgery. Topaya vets, Pymetra in a miniature schnauzer, six years old, March 19, 2015. The video on the Pymetra will be in a separate video.